In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the WooCommerce subscriptions extension. This is a great way to make automatic recurring sales to your existing customers. Now, a couple of different scenarios here. You can use subscriptions to do recurring billing for digital products. That would be a membership site. Or you can use subscriptions to do recurring billing for physical products. You might have a something of the month club where you send your customers a new box every month and they subscribe and you automatically have new orders every month from existing customers. You'll get the subscriptions plugin from the WooThemes website. And with the subscriptions plugin enabled, you'll have two new product types, a simple subscription product type and a variable subscription product type. We're gonna look at both types in this tutorial. Let's jump into WordPress and take a look. So I'm back in WordPress. I'm at my WooCommerce product page, and you may remember in a previous video, I was setting up a membership product with WooCommerce groups. And at the time I noted that we could only do a one-time payment. We couldn't do recurring payment for membership. Now that I have subscriptions enabled, I can turn that membership product into a recurring payment. So let me go in and edit this membership product that I created previously. And now subscriptions is enabled. And what you're gonna notice here is I've got a couple of different new product types, simple subscription and variable subscription. And I've set this product up, this membership product up as a simple product. Now that I have subscriptions enabled, I'm gonna change that to a simple subscription. And when I do that, I've got some additional options here. I've got a pricing option and I can set the recurrence of that. So I can charge $10 every month now. Uh, I can also modify that to be every other month. And I could also limit the number of times that that rebill occurs. So this might be a convenient way to break a large payment down into smaller payments. Maybe instead of $300, you do three monthly payments of $100. So you can get very creative with this subscription price and give your customers some options that maybe are better suited to their budget. You also have the option to have a sign-up fee. So maybe you want to charge a one-time fee for sign-up and then a reoccurring fee that occurs every month, for example. Uh, in this case, the sign-up fee is added to the first charge. So in this example, I'm charging $10 every month and there's a $15 sign-up fee. So the first time the customer signs up, they're charged $25. That's the $15 sign-up fee in addition to $10 for the first month. Now there's also a trial period and you can designate the number of days that the trial period is valid for, or you can make that weeks, months, or years. So if you wanted a one week trial, you could set that to seven days. And the way this works is even though it says free trial, the signup fee is charged at the time the free trial starts. So maybe instead of a free trial, you wanna do a $1 trial for one week. And then at the end of the week, they'll be billed $10 and then the, they will be billed $10 for each month as long as the membership is active. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can set up these subscriptions to recur. And once the customer has made the purchase, they will automatically be rebilled with their payment information on file with your payment gateway, Stripe or PayPal or whoever you're using will handle the automatic payments and you'll have automatic transactions every month. Now let's take a look at how this would work with a physical product. So in this case, the Smell of Books company is creating an Aroma of the Month Club where you will get a new can of book smell every single month. So you create the product just like you normally would and you choose Simple Subscription, set up a SKU, and then you set up your subscription price. So in this case, it's gonna be $19.99 every month with no signup fee and no trial. And you set up your shipping and shipping class exactly the way you would with a normal product and you'll set up a product image the way you would with a normal product. It should be an image that is representative of the membership or the recurring subscription that you're offering. Now let me publish this and we can go ahead and take a look at this new subscription product. And you see WooCommerce has now automatically added the term, the duration of the subscription. So it's $19.99 per month. When a customer adds this to the cart, they know they will get something new in the mail every month They'll also get a $19.99 bill on their credit card every month as well. And you'll have reoccurring revenue as customers are placing new orders every month as long as their subscription is active. Now there's one other subscription type and that's the variable subscription type. And to show you how this works, we're gonna go back to the membership product. 
and scroll down to product data, and this is set up as a simple subscription that recurs every month for $10 a month. Now I can change this to a variable subscription, and a variable subscription is very much like a variable product. There will be multiple price points and multiple renewal dates. So to do this, first I need to go set up some attributes. And I'm gonna add a custom attribute. I'm gonna call this attribute membership term. This is the length of time that the membership is good for. So my new custom attribute is membership term. And I've entered these values. So these are three different variations of the product, monthly, quarterly, and annual. And I wanna make sure that these are visible on the product page. So that'll be checked. And I'm also gonna check the box used for variations. Now I'm gonna save these attributes. Now these attributes are going to be available for this product. And now I can go to the Variations tab, and I can tell WooCommerce to create variations from all attributes. And when I click the Go button, I'll get this message here, letting me know that it can only create up to 50 variations. That's fine, I only have three. Now it's created these variations for annual, quarterly, and monthly. And I can reorder these if I want to control the way they will appear monthly, quarterly, and annually, save changes. Now when I open up each one of these, I will have a variation product data that I can enter. So I'll enter a SKU for each one. And so for monthly, I will continue to charge $10 every month. Now for quarterly, I'm gonna charge $25 every third month. So that's a slight price break from the monthly price. And for annual, I'm gonna charge $90 every year. So that's a slight price break from the quarterly price. I'm gonna go ahead and update this product. Now let's take a look at this product with the product variations active. And the customer then has an option to choose quarterly, at which point it's $25 every three months, or annual where it's $90 a year. So this is a great way to give your customers some options. Uh, they can save some money by making a longer term commitment. And with subscriptions, you can control renewals and determine the period of time that the renewal takes place. So that's a variable subscription. And that's an introduction to the power of the WooCommerce subscriptions extension.